bacteriologist Sir Alex Overplay discovered penicillin in the first antibiotic in 1928. A spotly accidental discovery led to a revolution in the treatment of infectious disease. Alexander Fleming was born at Lockfield, near Devon, Ashside, Scotland, on August 6, 1881. After moving to London and working in a shipping office for four years, the 20-year-old Fleming inherited some money from an uncle, John Fleming. He began a course at St. Mary Medical School, a part of the famous London University. He qualified with a distinction in 1906 and began researching bacteria. He even became a professor at St. Mary's until the end of 1940. He studied the bacteria and made some groundbreaking discoveries. He also married twice. In 1923, while working with the Staphylococcus bacteria, the Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming discovered the antibacterial properties of the penicillin mold. He identified a, a substance capable of inhibiting the growth of many common bacteria that affect humans. He called it penicillin. Alexander once said, When I woke up just after dawn, September 28, 1928, I certainly didn't plan to revolutionize all medicine by discovering the world of world first antibiotic or bacteria kind. Fleming would, would write later. But I guess that was exactly what he did. He published his discovery in 1929 on the, in the British, British Journal of Experimental Pathology. But a little attention was paid to his, to his article. Fleming left his project behind. During World War II, the Russian lead for new antibacterial drugs, let's search Ernest, Ernest Borchain and how the water flower to further uh, develop penicillin for therapeutic use. Mass production of the antibiotic began in the early 1940s. Alexander Fleming, how the water flower and the first person were awarded to the Nobel Prize in 1945. Alexander Fleming died on 11th March 1955, aged 73. Alexander Fleming was a true historical star. He is unique. Alexander Fleming has affected everyone's lives. Without him, millions of people worldwide would have died because of illness. The fact that his idea of penicillin, which was the first antibiotic, is still used today. Charles was a remarkable man. He was for his time.